Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome to Don't Open Your Eyes. Now, this is another one of those short horror games I found, and this looked very interesting, because this one is apparently meant to be basically you describing the thing that's trying to kill you. Oh, that's, that's a cool thing. When you hover over start, the eye opens. That's cool. All right, let's do this. So this looks very interesting. So it's all text-based and stuff. So I'm not actually gonna close my eyes, of course. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It's getting late. My eyelids have, be have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. All right. All right, so we're going to sleep. That's interesting. Uh, I leave aside the book I'd been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. Too quiet. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I'd known I'd know since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. Who counts the steps? Who counts that? Is my character supposed to be unhinged? <laughs> One, two, three, absent mindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness. Like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But... I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. Alright, alright. So, we're just trying to sleep and we're starting to get that... This is actually a feeling people get, because it's like, your things, something is just off, and you just start, your brain just starts going haywire. As someone who has trouble sleeping at times, it's also true for me. Fun fact, I'm actually recording this at like 1am, so... In my room. It's okay. There's a bed. In my room. Oh. There's a wardrobe. In my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. Whoa. In my room, there's a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Uh, where someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around. I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. I can say this honestly about my room. I can go anywhere in my room. 
and I can find my way around it. I have tried this. I have closed my eyes and navigated my room by just touch and memory. I memorized the exact path. I only had my arms like, you know, slightly above my waist so I didn't like run into my chair, which sometimes is the thing that changes in my room because it turns. And, you know, that's a, something I had to account for. So, so I did that. But I was able to just navigate my entire way. And the only thing that I ran to was my chair because it was some for some reason turned the wrong way. Sometimes when I get out of it, it just kind of turns. It's weird. But I have done this. I have done this. Exactly. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. All right, all right. So, is this just the end of the... No. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, what was that? Ooh. Question? What's that sound? Are those footsteps? Oh, that's creepy as shit. Oh, that's creepy as shit. No, that's not possible. That's impossible. It must be my imagination. But it's getting closer. And closer. And closer. And closer. They are gone. Right, there's no way someone could be there. Uh-oh. Oh, that's creepy. Hello. What the hell is this? Oh, there's audio. Oh, no. Do I open my eyes? Oh boy, here's the question. Do I open my eyes? Do I open my eyes? Do I risk this? I might have to replay the entire game if I do this. We're going to say no for this one. And then I want to do a run where I open my eyes immediately. <laughs> I'm very curious how many endings there are to this game. Uh, we're going to say no. I don't open my eyes. Ugh, creepy ASMR. Creepy ASMR. I don't like it. Look at me. I never got ASMR in the first place, but also this is just creepy. Also, I'm upping the volume for you guys, so you guys can hear this better. I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? Where are your manners? If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? Is that how it is? I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. I have never seen myself before. I don't know if my face is ugly. I don't know the color of my skin. Oh, dang. I don't know if I'm even here. Oh, so I bet if you open your eyes immediately, he's just not there? That is why I need you to open your eyes so you can tell me how I look. I hate, I hate, I hate the fact that this, mm, that's the fucking ASMR bullshit. <laughs> but I'm also shy, so I might hide the moment you do. You won't find me anywhere, and soon you will forget like a faded dream. Dang. I know you're not asleep. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. 
tiny ears? Wow. They look so fragile. Like I could almost grab them. I feel something caress my ear. Put my Ugh. fingers around them. I hate, I hate, I hate. Tear them off. Mmm. If I do, will you scream? That is an amount of creepy. Will I hear your voice? It was a joke. I'm joking. Don't be scared. Hey, how do you think my eyes look? What? When our cases finally meet, what will you find? Answer me. Uh, they look broken, empty, or lost. All right. So this is how this is going to work. Okay, so I'm betting he's going to fill out more and more as I answer these questions. Interesting. Um, they look... I'm going to say they look lost. They look lost. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that option. That may be so. I am never sure of where I am. My days consist of wandering about aimlessly, searching for something. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. The thought terrifies me. Hmm. It terrifies me so much. So I always keep my eyes peeled. Even if there's nothing to see. I see. That way, nothing will slip away. Ah, that's... The fucking... I, I can't even say it. I, I don't like ASMR just in general. This is like a level of just... Mm, please get out of my ears. I don't like it. The fucking vibration in the back of my ear canal fucking it's making me ear itch. <laughs> no matter where it goes, and no matter where it hides, no matter how terrifying the world might be, uh, what? no matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process, no matter what, I will never blink. I will forever be confused by the worlds around me. Oh? I will forever be... lost. But what is that something that I'm searching for? It's been so long since my wandering began. I can no longer recall the feelings that drove me to it. Then why are you still on the search? What is it? Is it something I can hold? Is it a being of flesh and bones? Huh? Is it nearby? Hmm. That's a amount of creasy. Is it you? Hmm. Yep. I figured. I, I saw that line coming. Hey. Have you ever looked so fervently for something that you end up losing yourself in the process? Have you? I remain silent. These eyes. Are these? My eyes. Uh, we're gonna say yes. I don't know what happens if we say no. If you'll just like get some other type of eyes. For now, we're gonna say, we're gonna say yes. A good answer. Because those are already creepy enough. I don't want to see if anything else is creepier. Yet yeah, there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. Uh, no, I will so not. You Fuck won't you. Look at me. Even though your eyes are so pretty. What the fuck? I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Round like pearls and shiny like jewels. What the fuck? So, so pretty. <sighs> Cold crushes my eyelashes. It's Ugh. fine. We still have time. Still and silent. Why is it still and silent? Is my question. <laughs> what are you? Are you like a paralysis, paralysis demon here? 
I uh, hate. Please stop breathing in my ears. Please stop breathing in my ear. Please. People are good at there closing go. their doors. Okay. Do you know what a door is? Of course you know. You have one right there at the verge of your little world. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. He only exists within the space, doesn't he? Within this, like, fucking mental image of the room that, that my character has created for himself. He only exists here, isn't it? The way he's talking literally says that he only exists here, because he's referring to this as the entire world that he knows. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. And sometimes... Me. I can't open doors. Huh. I find them... Tricky. Should I push? Or pull? Should I turn the knob left? Or right? Okay, fair. You're... You also seem to have nubbins for hands right now. Should I try to take it off its inches? That's called breaking and entering. Should I chip away at it? Hoping it will fall apart. What, you gonna hear Johnny a door? No. And what happens when it opens? Do I close it behind me? Not if you've packed it apart, you can't. Do I keep it open? But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. But then, how do I get out? And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? So many options. So many things that could go wrong. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. Okay. <laughs> I stare at it for a long time. You you have a weird obsession with doors, good sir. And think of my excuses. Because that's all they are. Oh? What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. To keep me out. Yeah, most people try to keep creepy people who stalk them at night out of their houses. It fills me with the need. I search for a crevice or a window. Anything that might be open. Ah, so that's how you got into my house. Anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can't go in anywhere. That's... That's creepy, dude. That's Every very night, creepy. I hop across the shadows of the streets. You need to go in a box. We, we, the SCP Foundation. We, we, we need to contain this thing. I'm careful, so as to not be caught by the light. That is a level of in creepy. My eternal search. I pick a place where to rest. What? What? <laughs> I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable, without alerting anyone. Usually, it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. I feel at home there. That's creepy. But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. The urge to be seen. So I search hard for a door that's open. For an entryway covered in darkness. And for someone to be at the other end, awake. Hmm. As if expecting me. You might be expecting a little too much there, good sir. But you won't look at me. For for very good reason. Even though you had your door open for visitors. Why is that? Are you afraid? Do I scare you? No. That can't be it. That very much is it, good sir. We have been chatting for so long. You've been talking to me, I've been trying to sleep. You haven't chased me out. That means you welcome me. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... Something moves over my bedsheets. You would reciprocate and grasp it. I'm 
I'm sure your hands are warm. So very warm. Because people are always warm. Hey, how do my hands look? When my warmth finally meets yours, how will it feel? Mm. Answer me. They look tired. They look deceitful. They look incomplete. Ooh. Oh, do we want to keep making this guy super just lost and depressed, or do we want to make him a little darker? Um, hmm. I'm just going to go based off of his description of what he does. So, we're going to go with either incomplete or tired. Let me see here. He's constantly just going between shadows and stuff. Resting anywhere he can that's like dark and dirty. Uh, occasionally looking for people. He seems to feel incomplete. So I guess we'll go with incomplete. They look incomplete. What the fuck? That may be so. Amidst my travels, I have lost more than I can imagine. I That's... have left people behind. I can't even... How is that... People who are my chat companions, just like you are now. So it's no wonder that by leaving them behind, I will leave parts of me as well. Things such as skin, or flesh, or bones, or anything that makes me as farewell gifts, you could say. It sounds like an excuse. Uh, and that's uh, because it is. I don't like what we've made. Because I am careless. Overly curious. I can't help but wonder how everything feels to the touch. Like the crust of a tree. Or the surface of a frozen lake. But sometimes I find something else. Like a building engulfed in a raging fire. Oh god. I think of the screams in the distance. Or the suffering and death and charred skin. And wonder, how does that feel? So I put my hands to the fire. It hurts, but I tolerate it and keep them there for long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates. That means you just burned your hand off. And the smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. And when I take them out, the feeling persists. That horrible but intoxicating feeling. You might be a masochist, good sir. I seek such extreme sensations. The edge of a knife sometimes provides it. Mmm. Mm, I don't like... Mm, I don't like where that is heading. No, no, no. That's a no, no. No, 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 no. No, we're not going... No. Just no. 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 All of it. No. I don't like... I don't like my choice. The fangs of a beast. No. Most times, the fuck? however, it's by mere accident. I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes. What? And I would leave my hands there as I traverse along it, leaving parts of my body as a farewell gift. What the fuck? In that sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. What? The fire and the blades are friends. That's... no. They have granted me times of great fun. Uh, what? So, God. It's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. That's. Oh. God. But there's mm. one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. They're always. painful. No shit, dumbass. I'd rather. they weren't. Hey. Have you ever placed yourself in arm's way? Only to feel the satisfaction you've realized is not yours. What the fuck? Have you? N no, what? I remain silent. These hands. Are these... My hands? 
I want to say no, but also I'm scared that it's going to make it worse. <laughs> um, d Just because I'm curious, we're going to say no. Is that so? Then, how do my aunt, when my warmth finally meets your answer me? Okay, so it's just the same thing. Okay, and we get to... Tr oh, thank God. <laughs> no. <laughs> the incomplete option is so creepy. No. <laughs> We're going with tired. They no. look tired. Hmm. Maybe the incomplete option wasn't so bad. M maybe. maybe so. These fingers of mine have touched so many things. They are always stretching forwards, reaching out for something. I hate the tip of my fingers dance over the surfaces that I travel. Mm. And their sensations reach the core of my brain. Be it the softness of the first spring flowers, or the roughness of a wall made out of rubbish. Caressing, grabbing, clawing. I, mm, maybe, mm, maybe, maybe, maybe incomplete wasn't so bad. <laughs> you know, I'm... No matter the time mm. of day, no matter if I'm awake or asleep, as if they had a mind of their own, even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. Mm. They like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. I hate it. The I hate it. The muscle of fabric against it. fabric. I hate, I hate it. Of skin against skin is irresistible. They want more. I hate they it. They want to feel closer. To have it between them and around them. More and more and sometimes. However, they can reach as far as they'd like. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Why? Why are all... Hmm. I'm gonna stick with this one, because I just want to get off the hand section. That's when I... <laughs> lend a hand. I take over and... Stretch. 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 And they grow. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time. What the but fuck? they grow. Just so they can reach out. Clutch what they want. And then throw it aside, discarded, and forgotten. That's why they are tired, because they never stop seeking, and most likely, never will. I hate this. Hey, have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important, only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp? Mm. Have you? I remain silent. These hands. Are these my hands? We're gonna go with I yes, because I wanna get off the section. Yes, yes. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. I'm gonna say no. We're, 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 we're gonna keep this so going. You won't no, look at me. I will not look at you. No, get out of my room. Go fuck yourself. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. Apologies that sounded loud. I didn't need a drink real quick. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. No, I know we are. I can feel it in my skin. Oh. What the fuck? Can you hear it? Why is your heart My beating? skin is pulsating. It has been long since this happened. It's a sign mm. of my innermost emotions flowing out. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. But it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Since I could show myself to everyone at once, every living person in this land, and ask them all the same question, someone will answer. 
There's no doubt about it. I hate, I hate the voice. It might not be the answer I wish for, since I don't want to be judged. You're literally only formed by human imagination, aren't you? I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why, when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. But you might be different. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. Mm. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Feel... That's creepy. Something. I cannot describe it. I am not good with words. I... Mm. I'm really hating the creature I have already created, and I haven't even... I don't, I don't think I've there finished it There was a person all. in my past who taught me to speak like a person. I'm sorry, what? They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. You're definitely not human. Yet, they did. Simply because they could. So you were taught to speak by someone else. It is weird to remember. There is some weird lore in this game. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. I see. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Maybe it's only because I can. Hmm. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. But I will. Soon. Are you sure about that, good sir? Once you open your eyes. This again. That. Just thinking about the I hate you unveil your sight onto me. I hate everything that is happening right now. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. What? And you inspect every crevice of mine. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The. That's what she said. Anyway. There's so much wrong with that entire sentence. Why? God, I hate it. <laughs> There's so... Mm. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours to let me hear what I am and to maybe even give me a name. You don't have a name? It makes me feel... Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Hey, what does my expression look like when that veil of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? Answer me. Ah. A cheerful smile, a surprised grimace, and a motionless stare. Probably an emotionless stare in Elasti. Based off of everything he has said, I don't think he has proper emotion like receptors. So we're gonna say emotionless stare. An emotionless stare. Okay, that's not too bad. That's that's decent. That may be so. Expressions are difficult. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel. 
That's very self-evident. It is something I noticed long ago. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Well, that just sucks. Not in the way other people do. I don't think you're a person, buddy. People interact with each other. They form connections. They experience thrills. A person becomes someone different with each passing second. Turning old. And perishing. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. My journey began long ago. Longer than any person has ever journeyed. And in my life, I have seen others born and die. How ancient are you? Born and die. A person's existence is so fleeting. God, this guy must be like centuries old. He's like talking like he's cursed with immortality or some shit. And yet, so many things happen to them. So many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack. Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather because these memories mean nothing to me. I see. Save for a minuscule number, they are all the same, blending with each other into a mottled gray. I mean, in all honesty, I think a lot of people can relate to that. So, that type of thing, like memories that just don't mean much and not feeling like you've done anything particularly noteworthy. Lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps if someone else had lived what I had, they would see meaning. They would treasure it. I see. Yeah, that is another thing. People don't always like perceive the same thing as a memorable thing, because the thing about memory is that it's got to be, like, something important to you. A lot of people don't actually, like, have that type of thing. I know I have, like, I don't feel like I could write a book about my life and have it be anything interesting, because the memory, a lot of, not all the memories, but a good portion of memories that just don't really mean much to me. I mean, there's, of course, really good ones, like some with my best friends and family and stuff. But a lot of them are just, like, throwaway memories, basically. I can't understand that. I didn't expect this to go so deep, though. But I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do. And by extension, in what I am. I want for someone to tell me how I look. Yet, I don't see that as important. No one but me would care. So why should I care? Now that is an entire thing. Just... That is an entire thing that is just wrong in general. And that is another thing that is also... I know some people really do not put like value in like self-worth and stuff. Because no one else values them, or or at least they believe no one else does. Which is true, because uh, uh, there's always someone who values you or anyone else. There's always someone who has a value in you and values you as you. So you should be able to value yourself, because there are people who care about that. And that's kind of what he's basically saying, is that no one would care... Which, I mean, he's clearly some kind of horror monster. So obviously no one's going to care. They're going to be running away. But, if he is actually just a human, that's just sad. This guy has, like, immense depression. Like, Jesus Christ. But that doesn't mean I have never felt. Well, yeah. Unless you're a sociopath. I feel things. Mm-hmm. Joy. Sorrow. Fear. I am always feeling, and right now, I am feeling strongly. It's here, in my pulsating skin. You say my expression is emotionless, that it shows nothing, and if you say so, it must be true. But soon you will see something, because what I'm feeling 
is not nothing. You see, that is another thing. A lot of people, like, look at some people, because there are a lot of people, and I am I can be one of them, uh, where we don't show our emotions. <laughs> um, we don't sh really show our emotions with our faces. We show them with our actions, te technically, and just sometimes we don't even show them, period. Like, I know I've had entire, like, a lot of times where I'm just, like, not showing emotion, period. And that's fine. Also, I just realized my entire... Y'all are going to be very we're very much wondering what the hell the giant black bar on the bottom is. That's just because this game is in windowed mode. <laughs> I just realized... I just looked over at my OBS setup and I'm just like, Oh, there's a giant <laughs> section of the screen that's not being used. Hey. Have you ever masked yourself with indifference? Oh, 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 I hate, mm, I, I hate how much that hits, <laughs> just that sentence in general. Have you ever masked yourself with indifference? As I was just saying, a lot of people that do that, and I'm guilty of, like, so many times. <laughs> Only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath. Why does, mm, <laughs> have you? Why does this whispering motherfucker... Why does this specific thing... Why? God, fuck. Everything else was just like... Oh, yeah, this is definitely like... There's emotion... There's human emotion shit to this. But then this one's just like... Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this expression... Is this... My expression. No, it's mine. <laughs> I see. But yeah, so that's that you. Anyway, yeah, that is... Mm. Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. These are my eyes. These are my hands. Yeah. And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. Ah. I feel a connection with you. Probably because you're made up in my mind. One born out of honest gratitude. But there's one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. Do I open my eyes? This is... Okay, so this is definitely the end of the game. I'm very curious... about what actually happens if we open our eyes, but also... Do I want to do that now? Because what I could do is actually do another video of this game... and... make an entirely new one. And then open my eyes and see what the fuck happens. Oh boy, um... That is... That is a good... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh... You know, you know what? If you guys really want, I will do another run. And it will be an experimentation run. Where we open our eyes at every option and probably get an end a, a dead ending <laughs> um, each time. So, if you guys want to see that, please comment. I will save this game on my computer. And if anyone comments at all, I will do it. Alright. No. No. I see. I understand. No, it's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. Okay. No one has done that for me before, so I have no right to ask for anything else. Alright.
Thank you for no. understanding. What? That is a lie. Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. Not even once. 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 Ugh, I hate. I hate. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? Not even once. Did you look at my face? You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. You haven't opened your mouth, but you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. And I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. What? That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. What? We are the same. You too. Look for what's not there. Mmm. Mmm. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. And you too. Are a liar. The type that shows one thing. And feels another. The fuck? But you made a mistake. I know you're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. Uh oh. I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. Uh oh. The eyes, the hands, the expression are gone. They aren't mine. Maybe they are yours. Uh oh. But I do not care. Not anymore. Open your eyes. Dot, dot, dot. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. And that's all you did. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. You said so. Remember that in this room, you know how everything looks. It was those words that brought me here. Oh, shit. So you have to, you have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. Da da da. Open your eyes. Da da da. Open your eyes. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna, this entire run is just eyes closed. We're not opening. No. There's probably some very interesting outcomes at this point. You had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. You won't open your eyes. I will. Something coils around my head. The pressure on my skull is unbearable. I hear something shatter. What did he just do? Ah, uh, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Oh, he shattered my skull. Tell me, my new friend. What do you see? I want to answer. But they've grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is... I close my eyes. That won't do. Open your eyes. <laughs> Open them. Ugh. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Ooh. I don't think he's alive anymore. Oh, no. It seems I did it again. You can't see anymore, right? You can't talk anymore, right? You can't think anymore, right? Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Even 
though you were a liar, I leave this piece of myself here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. What the fuck? I... Okay, so he just murders you. Okay. Dot, 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 dot. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? It feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. Damn. Okay. So that ending was dark as hell. Alright. So... This has been Don't Open Your Eyes. God, that took like 50 minutes to finish. If you guys want to see another run, or multiple runs, where we see if there's any Easter eggs if you open your eyes at all the possible options, because uh, I'm actually very curious if there are, you know, a bunch of endings for when you open your eyes at different parts. Uh, I will totally do it. <laughs> so if you want to see that, please comment. And uh, tell me you, wanted, you uh, want me to see it. And also, of course, like. Uh, but yeah, everyone has enjoyed. If you should join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in this video, live stream, or next. Peace, guys.